Hi, this is part two of how to create a math quiz in OpenOffice. So first let's open up our program again and select text document. And we're just going to familiarize ourselves with the basic functions of math notation. So you hit insert, object, formula, whenever you want to use math notation. And this white box shows up at the bottom. If you right click on the white box, you'll see we have many options here which are organized pretty well. And suppose we want to start with creating a simple fraction. We're going to go to unary and binary operator operators and select A over B. Now this which is highlighted we're going to replace with our number one which is still going to be enclosed within these curly braces. And the denominator we're going to put within these curly braces after the over. And it reads 1 over 2, which is pretty intuitive. And you can see it shows up as 1 half here. OK. One problem which may arise is with groupings. So for example, suppose we wanted to have a fraction with a numerator of 2x and a denominator of x plus 1. And you can see I just typed this in. And, um, and once you get used to the menu options, you can actually type the notation in directly. OK, so you can see here that this did not show up exactly how we wanted. Instead, it, it gave us 2x over x, the whole thing plus 1. So to fix that, we go back here and we insert curly braces around x plus 1. And there we have it. So you can think of curly braces as basically parentheses which are not going to show up. All right, so let's use this information to now create the problems for our math quiz. This file right here, Math Quiz Part 2, is actually included on the website address in the video description. So you can start off exactly where I'm starting. So for our first question, we'll have a simple question of adding two fractions. OK, so now we want to use our math notation. So we click Insert, Object, Formula. In this case, let's try 1 half plus 3 fourths. So one way to do this is by right-clicking the menu, navigating to A over B, and then we're going to have a plus sign, and then again use our menu to include our second fraction. So up here right now, you can see it, it looks like a blank fraction plus another blank fraction. So to go back and edit this, double click. Now we replace these with our numbers as we saw before. 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4. And then we have our math notation for fractions. OK, so the next one, I'll just show a few more examples here. The next one, we'll try some exponent notation. Multiply. OK, so again, we're going to go to Insert, Object, Formula. Suppose we want to have x squared times 3x cubed. We're going to use the caret notation. And if you hold shift on your keyboard and hit the number 6, you'll see this caret show up. And this is the way we write exponents with math notation. x squared times 3x cubed. OK. So the exponents work fine, but the multiplication sign is a little bit ugly. So 
if I prefer, you might prefer to use the, the dot multiplication notation. So if I double click this, I can change this to C dot. And now we have a dot multiplication notation. And as a final note, you can also get the C dot from the right click menu, which is right here. Okay, for the next one, I'll show the same concept for radicals. Three. Simplify the radicals. So I say insert object formula. And since I know the notation already, or you can say the syntax of OpenOffice, I can just say square root of 2x c dot square root of 8x cubed. So you notice that I've used the c dot notation again, and I've used the exponent notation, and this will show up exactly how I wanted. For a final example, I'll use an exponent on the denominator. So problem number four, simplify. And again, insert object formula. And suppose we want to have 3x over the quantity x cubed minus x. So write 3x over x cubed minus x. And you might guess what the problem is. And as you can see here, it's done 3x over x cubed, the whole thing minus x. And to fix that, we just write our curly braces around this. And I probably should have mentioned as well that the curly braces are located to the right of the letter P on your keyboard, and you have to hold down the shift key to get those. OK, so here we have our finished quiz. And um, the final step here is I would highly suggest exporting the quiz as a PDF file. And what this does is allows you to open it up on any computer which has Adobe Reader installed. So we go to File, Export as PDF, Export, and then you can name it Math Quiz Part 2, Save. And if you open that up, you can see exactly how it will look when you print your quiz out. Alright guys, that sums up our tutorial on how to make a math quiz in OpenOffice. I hope that helped and best of luck.